Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel on this uh, third day of my vacation in Norway. So um, I arrived a couple of days ago with Ferry from Denmark and then I went and uh, visited some friends. And then uh, yesterday evening me and Bosimat we drove up uh, in the mountains and parked the car uh, at a spot here called um, Nilsebu Dam. And uh, then we walked for uh, a couple of hours up to this cabin. So this cabin is uh, totally remote. Uh, there are no roads uh, connected to this cabin. It's only hiking trails. And a lot of uh, these cabins in Norway are like that. So you can just go visit these cabins and just pay a small fee. And then you can uh, stay here uh, for as many days as you like. And it's, uh, it's just a beautiful way to experience uh, the Norwegian nature. So uh, I don't know how long we will be here. The, it will rain tonight, I heard, so uh, I think we'll just uh, ride out the storm. But this afternoon we will go and uh, do some fishing. Because uh, some of the people who were in the cabin last night, they uh, told me that there are some very good lakes up here behind the, um, the cabin. So I'll just go and see if I can get a fish for, for dinner. So this is the plan for today and uh, it will pretty much be the plan for this uh, vacation just to hike and do some fishing and see if I can make some food outside and enjoy the, the beautiful nature. So it's uh, kind of like the, the life that I have at home. I live in a cabin with solar panels. Uh, you get water outside in the stream. Uh, you forage uh, food in the wild nature. But yeah, obviously that's how I like it. So I hope we find some fish today and then we'll just uh, do some relaxing in the cabin tonight. Good morning. It's a uh, pretty early morning. It's uh, around five o'clock, so it's still dark outside, but it uh, sounds like the weather has cleared somewhat up. Uh, we, <laughs> we are so <laughs> incredibly exhausted, or at least we were uh, last night when we got down from the lake, because this terrain is just like cliffs and rocks and you have to climb and it's slippery and yeah, it's very challenging to walk in. So, um, but that is just how Norway is. So, um, so it just always uh, baffles me how much uh, energy uh, just a short ch trip really uh, demands of you. But anyway, we went to the lake and we <laughs> didn't get any fish. Um, for one, it was maybe a bit too early in the day, but I knew that. But I, I was just trying, uh, and then. Second, the weather changed and suddenly it became uh, yeah pretty rainy. So 
we needed to get down from the mountain or at least up from the lake because um, up here you um, you're pretty uh, you're pretty much alone out here you have no wi-fi connection so if anything happens uh, you really need to respect the weather conditions obviously so we just uh, turned around before the weather got uh, worse and it got uh, worse and then thirdly um I couldn't find my fishing hook because I was doing some uh, shooting with the camera and then uh, when I got back from that, uh, got back to the fishing spot, then the fishing hook um, was totally gone. And uh, <clears throat> then I actually um, realized that it that Bosimat has placed himself on top of my uh, hook and at, thereby attached the hook into his skin uh, only in one of the, the hooks because there are three but still it was pretty dangerous because he could really injure himself like uh, if the hook got attached to something and then still in his skin or if he licked on it and got stuck or like it could be a horrible situation so we decided to go quite quickly down from the mountain and then um, <laughs> I decided and then um, then I I made a small uh, procedure on him uh, with a pair of scissors and uh, he was just he was such a champion he didn't say a sound and I managed to 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 get that hook out of the skin which was like unbelievable I, I didn't expect it really but he didn't uh, complain at all and I gave him uh, some yeah some rewards afterwards in terms of some sausage because that was just amazing so anyways, uh, right now I'm eating <laughs> like this giant meal because some hunters uh, in the cabin uh, yesterday, they left me so much uh, reindeer sausage and uh, chorizo sausage and cheese and everything. Norwegian brown cheese as well. It's pretty delicious. Yeah, so uh, we're just having this nice and quiet breakfast right now. But right now we're just waiting for the sun to rise and uh, enjoying the home-brewed coffee and all these uh, de delicious sausages.
Værsgo. Good morning. It is uh, day three up here in the mountains. And uh, yeah, I woke a little late today, <laughs> around uh, almost eight, because uh, yeah, I really, I was really tired again yesterday. So <clears throat> my legs are a bit stiff and uh, yeah, but I slept really well. And I think Bosima did too. We went for a late evening uh, walk yesterday and um, got uh, some trout. And uh, right now I'm watching the lake f and I can see that uh, there is some activity out there. So I think I'll go out for a small trip again after, after I've just taken Bosum out for a little walk. Uh, before it comes, becomes too late uh, for that because it's best in the, um, in the early morning. And in the evening, obviously, <clears throat> but it is not the best time of year because these fish, they want security, food and sex. And that's what they worry about. And food is a little bit more scarce uh, this time of year. But if they get more food, they dare to venture more out and become more risky. But uh, it's all about finding, I think, the great spots. So I found um, a place on the other side of the of the lake where the where the water is a bit deeper so they can uh, hide a bit more but also um, the the nutrients from the stream coming out is something that they uh, yeah it gives them stuff that they can feed on so it's a good place for that so i think i will try that out again i can see them plopping around in the water so i better get going but um, Anyway, I just wanted to say also that this is uh, typically here on day three and I can feel it today that that this uh, blissful mountain calmness vibe sets in because it can take some time to get rid of the hectic feeling of being in society and especially for my part because like being on social media all the time and like having Facebook and Messenger and mails and text messages and like it's just so much information that one needs to process and out here obviously I don't have any Wi-Fi I don't have any cell phone connection at all so the only thing that is <clears throat> I don't hear the sound from my phone all the time or the vibration it's just silence and peace and the mountains and the only thing that I can really hear is this meditative uh, sound of the um, of the waterfall in the background so I really, really enjoy this way of being. Just at least one time of year I need to have this. I think just for my own mental mental health sake. Yeah. So but it's really nice. It's this deep calmness that I feel within and um that's what these mountains do to me. Yeah, anyways, I want to take Buzzy for a small trip and then uh, I think we'll take take a, an easy day today, not walking so much and just making some good food and enjoying life up here in the mountains.